Have you ever used our hourly weather graphs before? If so, you know just how useful they can be in various weather situations. If you haven't used them, this video will help you understand the importance of hourly weather graphs, how they can help you, and where you can find them. Hourly weather graphs are helpful in obtaining a more detailed weather forecast for the variables listed on the right-hand side of this slide. Even though the forecast may call for an 80% chance of rain, maybe rain is only expected in the afternoon. The hourly weather graph would show you this. In addition, if you are concerned about water freezing on roadways, you may be interested in when the temperature is expected to drop below 32 degrees. You could determine the forecast timing for this using the temperature curve in the top part of the graph. As you use the hourly weather graph more, you will find even more uses for the information. So let's take a look at how you can find the hourly weather graph so you can begin using it. From your internet browser, direct your web page to weather.gov slash Atlanta. Our homepage will appear. Once here, you can reach our forecast page two different ways. The first option is to enter your city and state or zip code in the box in the upper left of the page. That option is shown on the left hand side here. The second option is to scroll down to the watch warning map and click on the location of interest. That option is shown on the right hand side of the slide. This will bring you to our point and click forecast page. From here, scroll down and find the hourly weather graph on the right hand side of the page. Click on the hourly weather graph image. You should now be on the hourly weather graph web page. Above the graph, there are a few options you can add to the page. After selecting additional options, click Submit. You can also advance the graph in time using the Forward 2 Days button above the graph. In addition, as you move your mouse over the hourly weather graph, the forecast information for that particular time period will be displayed below the graph. The variables displayed in each section of the graph are listed here and we'll go into more detail about each variable on the next few slides. The first section of the hourly weather graph shows heat index, dew point, and temperature. In the winter, wind chill is shown instead of heat index. Temperature information in an hourly format is important to determine when critical thresholds will be met. For example, if freezing temperatures were expected and you wanted to know what time the temperature would go above 32 degrees, you could use the temperature forecast in the hourly format to determine that. In this case, we aren't expecting any freezing temperatures, so it's not an issue. Let's say, though, the temperature needs to be at least 65 degrees to paint your house. You could use the graph shown above to determine that on Thursday the temperature will go above 65 degrees around noon and go below that around 10 p.m. that evening. What other uses can you think of for temperature, heat index, and dew point? The second section of the hourly weather graph includes wind speed, direction, and gusts. Note the values are displayed in miles per hour. For fire weather users, 15 miles per hour is a critical threshold. These users can see when the 15 mile per hour threshold is met and how long winds will be above 15 miles per hour. For hazmat situations, decision makers can find out the wind speed and direction expected for each hour and see when the wind is expected to shift. In this case though, easterly winds, meaning winds from east to west, are expected for the entire forecast. The third part of the hourly weather graph shows relative humidity, precipitation potential, and sky cover. Do you ever wonder when you see a 70% chance of rain if it's going to rain all day or just for a few hours? The hourly weather graph can help answer that. In addition, you can use the sky coverage part of the graph when it's cloudy to see if the clouds will decrease for the afternoon or if it will stay cloudy all day. The chance of precipitation does not take into account whether showers and thunderstorms are expected or just showers. The fourth part of the hourly weather graph shows the thunder potential. In this case, there is a slight chance of thunderstorms from around 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. on Thursday. Even though there is a chance of precipitation on Friday, as shown in the previous slide, thunderstorms are not expected with the precipitation. The final part of the default hourly weather graph is the rain potential and rainfall amount section. The rainfall potential will match up with the precipitation potential for the most part. The exception to this is during the winter if instead of rain, snow or freezing rain is expected. In that case, you may have 20% for precipitation potential, but nothing listed for rain potential. Another graph would be shown with a slight chance of snow. This graph also shows how much rain is expected over a period of time. Hourly weather graphs have many different uses. They help in determining when thresholds will be met for example, freezing temperatures or dangerous heat index conditions, and they can help you determine if it's going to be cloudy all day or just in the morning. There are many more uses for hourly weather graphs that aren't even listed here. 
These graphs are helpful to many of our users in decision making, and we hope you find them helpful as you explore hourly weather graphs more. If you have questions regarding the hourly weather graph, you can contact us at sr-ffc.webmaster at noaa.gov.